Hey, peace family, peace and love. It's your boy Sunrise the Divine. I'm back at you again. And I'm here to talk about uh, how important it is to, gr to ground yourself, um, especially being a light worker on planet Earth in this time, this specific time. Where are we at? February 2020. Okay, so as we all know, the shift is happening. Ascension, accelerated ascension. We're all feeling rapid energy. We're all feeling so many emotions. We're all feeling so much change. So much is happening, right? And and then sometimes it feels like so much is happening. And then you look at your life. Well, actually, not a lot is happening, but I just feel so much happening, right? So it's very important to ground yourself during these times for a couple of reasons. One, um, to balance out the high frequency energies that are that you're receiving. Two, to help keep your manifestation flow going and growing. Three, to anchor this light, this love and light energy and this knowledge and wisdom into the earth. Okay, so let's go back. I didn't write these down, so let's just go back uh, 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 to the points. I may say the points in a different order. Now, let's get to the first point. What I say uh, to 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 anchor these love and light energies down? I don't know. Don't forgive me. So, basically, as you start to grow and expand, especially. You people, some people are just now, there's like, there's like waves of people who came to awake. So you may notice some people who seem like they're way farther in their journey. You may notice some people who seem like they're just beginning and they're in the middle of their journey. And then there's people who like are just waking the crust out their eyes. They just now almost becoming aware of some of this stuff. Now, as we keep growing, we start to adapt these high frequency practices, meditation eating healthy, changing your, your, your bath, uh, your bathing materials, your, your deodorants, your toothpaste, you're changing this to higher frequency toothpaste, all of this stuff, right? And you start to do all this light work, you're meditating, boom, boom, boom. You almost do a complete 180 from the life. You're like, whoa, this was a crazy life. I know that I got to do this to raise my frequency. And so you start doing all these things to raise your frequency, right? What happens is you do raise your frequency, you raise it as you commit to these practices and congratulations. But the thing is, you have to balance that out with being grounded. You know what I mean? Because it's all about balance. You, you, you like it's all about balance, you know, and so you may seem a little. It, for example, if you do all these practices and you're just coming from like a traditional lifestyle American or whatever lifestyle and you're raising your frequencies and then you don't ground you may be more susceptible to anxiety to being spacey not spacey as in stupid but spacey um spacey as in um like you're just receiving so much if that makes sense like you like it's almost chaotic the the amount of downloads and thoughts you're receiving right so when you ground and, and when you ground yourself like the most simplest way to ground is to place your feet on the earth feet on the earth or like eat grounding foods like potatoes or beets but when you ground you give your chance you give your body a chance to get this high frequency energy and bring it down and f and fully process it, right? Because if you, it's like it's like you got a portal right here, and you got a portal in your feet. It's like when you're doing all these high frequency things, is the energy is coming straight through your crown chakra to your body. Then when you ground, the 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 electrons of the earth and all of this, all of the um, all of the particles in the earth help bring it down. Not bring it down. But like help it settle. You get what I'm saying? Do you get me? Do you get me? Feel me. Sometimes I'm losing. I can't think of the right words to describe what I'm trying to say sometimes. So just work, try to feel me. Now, another reason is to help your manifestations flow. Uh, 
a lot of us are like, we're manifesting, we're manifesting, we're focusing on this, we're saying our affirmations, we're speaking this into existence, but we still can't seem to see it happen. One, have patience. But two, you might have a problem with grounding or you might not be grounding properly. Uh, so if you do seem to have issues with your manifestations or they seem to be slower or, or, or not as quick as you like, start grounding more because you literally take this desire and make it like and you channel it down to the earth through your feet. You know, maybe you're not, maybe you don't know that you're doing this intentionally when you're grounding, but when you're grounding, this is what's happening. All that high frequency energy is coming down and it's anchoring into the earth and the earth represents the physical. And so as you anchor it into the earth, it just helps your manifestation flow into your reality. Now, another reason why it's important to ground is that third point. What I said is to anchor the high frequency light into Gaia mother earth herself as you know mother earth is a being itself she is the planet is a conscious being just like me and you and we are occupying the planet the planet is also ascending and going through these rapid changes and it needs to um, absorb and integrate this high frequency light and energies and we are the conduits in which that happens so we could fill ourselves up with light and energies by doing all this meditation, yoga, and all that shit. But we got to ground ourselves, meaning put your feet on the earth, put your hands on the earth, put your, like, eat some grounding foods. But the most important, effective way to ground is to put your bare feet on the dirt, in the sand, in the ocean, in the water, in the lake. Even the concrete, I know the concrete is not the best, most efficient way, but it's still earth. Earth still gets that energy, you feel me? But dirt and sand is the best way. So when you start to become more of a light being yourself, you're actually helping earth absorb that same light that you absorbed by grounding yourself. And when the earth gets this light, you know, it makes tremendous or monumental moves and shifts as well. And that's basically a big part of our reasoning of existing here. If you're a light worker, which if you're watching this, you are a big part of our existence is to help earth ascend, not only help earth, but help the beings of earth. But sometimes we're so um, focused on what we see in our reality. We actually uh, uh, may forget or um, not pay attention that the earth is 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 a being herself. So. It's very important to ground, help your anxiety, help your, your manifestations flow, help your um your evolution in general. And physically, on a physical level, it's been proven that placing your feet on the earth every day or as much as you can actually helps prevent you from getting sick. Go look it up. Don't take my word from it. I appreciate y'all. That's it. Love and light. Y'all doing it. We here. We made it. I love y'all.